As the last golden leaves of autumn drift to the ground, Europe stands on the threshold of a new season. The air grows crisp, and a sense of anticipation settles over cities and countryside alike. Across the continent, people brace themselves for the arrival of winter, a season that will shape daily life, commerce and leisure in profound ways. In bustling urban centers, snow can bring life to a standstill, transforming familiar streets into quiet white landscapes. Yet, in the heart of the Alps and other mountain regions, winter is a time of opportunity. Here, snow is not just a challenge, but a vital resource that brings communities together and fuels local economies through tourism and winter sports. As the days grow shorter and temperatures drop, energy suppliers work tirelessly to ensure homes stay warm and lights stay on. Farmers hurry to harvest the last of their crops and prepare their fields for the cold months ahead. Meanwhile, ski resorts and travel operators eagerly await the first heavy snowfall, hoping for a season that will draw visitors from around the world. Snowfall is more than just a weather event. It's a force that shapes the rhythm of winter. It transforms landscapes, blankets cities and villages and brings both challenges and joy. For some, it means early morning spent shoveling driveways and clearing roads. For others, it's the promise of snowball fights, sledding, and the simple wonder of a world turned white. As we approach the winter of 2025 to 2026, scientists and meteorologists are hard at work, searching for clues in the atmosphere. They launch weather balloons, analyze satellite images, and study shifting patterns in the jet stream, all to better understand what the coming months might hold. My own work involves diving deep into climate models and historical data, piecing together the puzzle of Europe's winter. By examining everything from ocean temperatures to atmospheric pressure systems, we strive to predict whether this season will bring biting cold, heavy snow, or unexpected warmth. In this guide, we'll explore the powerful forces that drive Europe's winter weather. We'll break down regional forecasts, highlight key trends, and share insights to help you prepare, whether you're a city dweller, a rural farmer, or a winter sports enthusiast. Join us as we journey into the fascinating world of atmospheric science. Together, we'll uncover the secrets of the season, learn how experts make their predictions, and discover what you can do to get ready for whatever winter brings. Across Europe, families are digging out their warmest coats, communities are preparing their roads and infrastructure, and everyone is watching the skies. Winter brings its own set of challenges but also opportunities for connection, resilience, and celebration. The story of winter is about to unfold. Let's embrace the season together, ready to face its challenges and savor its beauty as we embark on the great European winter watch. Seasonal forecasting is about probability, not precision. We identify patterns and climate drivers to predict winter's character. Sophisticated models simulate possible futures, revealing trends. The climate system's complexity means forecasts are probabilistic, not certain. We assess risks and probabilities offering a planning framework. As the season progresses, short-term forecasts refine the picture. The seasonal outlook provides the broad strokes of winter's masterpiece. Understanding forecasting's power and limits, we explore winter 2025 to 2026. Let's delve into the factors shaping this winter story. La Nina and the polar vortex are key climate influencers. La Nina cools the Pacific, affecting global weather patterns. It often leads to high-pressure systems in the North Atlantic, altering the jet stream. The polar vortex, when weakened, releases cold air southward. A weak vortex can trigger severe winter outbreaks in Europe. Monitoring these factors helps predict Europe's winter scenario. The Quasi-Biennial Oscillation QBO, and North Atlantic Oscillation NAO, shape Europe's winter. An easterly QBO phase can weaken the polar vortex, priming for cold spells. The NAO measures pressure differences influencing weather patterns. A negative NAO phase allows Arctic air to reach Europe, increasing cold and snow chances. La Nina and an easterly QBO suggest more negative NAO patterns. These factors point to a potentially disruptive winter. Understanding these influences helps anticipate winter's impact. Let's explore how these elements interact this season. Winter's complexity unfolds through these atmospheric dynamics. As winter approaches, Europe transforms into a continent of contrasts, where the weather is as diverse as its landscapes and cultures. From the icy fjords of the north to the sun-kissed shores of the Mediterranean, each region faces its own unique set of winter challenges and surprises. 
Europe's varied geography, mountains, plains, coastlines, and islands, means that no single forecast can capture the full story of the season ahead. In Scandinavia, winter is expected to arrive in full force. Residents can anticipate a classic season with frigid temperatures and abundant snowfall blanketing forests, cities, and countryside alike. The long, dark nights are illuminated by the soft glow of snow, creating a magical, if challenging, environment for daily life. Meanwhile, the UK and Ireland are bracing for a more nuanced winter. While cold spells are likely, these regions may also experience periods of milder, damp weather, with frost and occasional snow transforming the rolling hills and rural landscapes into a winter wonderland, if only for a few days at a time. Western and Southern Europe present a tale of two halves. In France, Spain and neighboring countries, the season may begin with milder conditions, but as winter deepens, colder air is expected to sweep in, bringing icy roads and the possibility of snow even in places unaccustomed to it. Along the Mediterranean, the story shifts. Here, winter often means rain and storms, especially along the coastlines. Yet, higher elevations in southern Spain, Italy and Greece could see significant snowfall, turning mountain villages into picturesque scenes straight out of a postcard. Each region's winter narrative is shaped by a complex interplay of ocean currents, mountain ranges, and atmospheric patterns. From the Atlantic's influence in the west, to the cold air masses sweeping down from the Arctic, these forces combine to create a patchwork of weather across the continent. Understanding these patterns is essential for communities and individuals alike. Whether it's preparing homes for freezing temperatures, ensuring roads are safe, or simply planning daily routines, being ready for winter's challenges can make all the difference. As we navigate Europe's winter landscape together, we can appreciate the beauty and diversity that each region brings to the season. From snow-capped peaks to bustling city streets, winter reveals a new side of Europe. Embracing the season's diversity means finding joy in its opportunities. Whether that's skiing in the Alps, strolling through festive markets, or simply enjoying a quiet moment by the fire as snow falls outside. Across the continent, winter's patchwork unfolds, connecting people and places through shared experiences and unique traditions. So, as the season arrives, prepare for a winter of contrasts, surprises, and unforgettable moments where every corner of Europe tells its own winter story. Central Europe stands as a true winter battleground, uniquely positioned between the relentless Atlantic air masses pushing in from the west and the frigid, dry Siberian air surging from the east. This region is where two powerful forces collide, creating a dynamic and often unpredictable winter climate. The result is a fascinating interplay of weather systems that can bring anything from mild rainy spells to sudden intense snowstorms, sometimes within the same week. For millions living here, winter is never dull. Each season brings its own set of challenges and surprises. This year, global patterns like La Nina and a strong easterly phase of the quasi-biennial oscillation or QBO are tilting the odds in favor of cold, dry air masses flowing in from Siberia. These powerful winds sweep across the vast eastern European plains, carrying with them bone-chilling temperatures and a stark wintry landscape. The dominance of these easterly winds means that much of Central and Eastern Europe can expect prolonged spells of cold, with the potential for persistent snow cover in many areas. But snow doesn't just depend on cold, it needs moisture too. The real drama unfolds when moist, milder Atlantic air collides with the cold, dry Siberian air. These clashes often spark heavy snowfall events, blanketing cities and countryside alike. This winter meteorologists are watching for these moisture-laden Atlantic surges, which could trigger significant snowstorms across the region, especially when they meet entrenched cold air from the east. The Alps, straddling the heart of Europe, are especially poised for a season of abundant snow. With the right mix of cold air and Atlantic moisture, these mountains could see frequent and heavy snowfalls, creating ideal conditions for ski resorts and winter sports enthusiasts. The picturesque Alpine villages, already famous for their winter charm, may experience one of their most memorable seasons in years, drawing visitors from across the continent. Meanwhile, Eastern Europe is bracing for a winter that's colder than average, with the likelihood of persistent snow cover stretching from Poland to Hungary and beyond. Residents in cities like Warsaw and Budapest may find themselves navigating deep snow drifts and icy streets for weeks on end. For many, this means adapting daily routines from commuting to heating homes as the region settles into a classic, old-fashioned winter. 
As temperatures drop and snow accumulates, energy use is expected to rise with households and businesses relying more on heating to stay warm. Yet, for winter lovers, this season offers a return to traditional snowy landscapes, perfect for skiing, snowboarding, and family outings in city parks. The crisp air and snow-covered scenery will bring a sense of nostalgia and excitement to communities across Central and Eastern Europe. Adding to the intrigue, a weakened polar vortex could send even colder Arctic air plunging southward, intensifying both the cold and the frequency of snow events. This atmospheric phenomenon has the potential to unleash blizzards and create dramatic temperature swings, making the winter even more unpredictable and challenging for those living in the battleground zone. Across Central and Eastern Europe, people are preparing for winter's icy grip. From Prague to Vienna and from Poland to Hungary, daily life will be shaped by the relentless cold, frequent snowfalls, and the need to adapt to rapidly changing weather. Commuters bundle up, rivers freeze, and cities transform into winter wonderlands. As the season unfolds, residents should prepare for a winter marked by persistent cold and multiple snow events. Whether it's navigating snowy roads, shoveling driveways, or simply enjoying the beauty of a snow-covered landscape, this winter promises to be both challenging and memorable. The stage is set for a remarkable winter in Europe's battleground zone, a season that will test resilience, bring communities together, and create lasting memories beneath a blanket of snow. December 2025 sets the stage for La Nina's influence. High pressure builds over Greenland, altering weather patterns. Northern Europe faces a colder, snowier theme as December progresses. The Alps benefit from early snow, establishing a solid base. Central and Eastern Europe experience a tug-of-war between mild and cold spells. The Mediterranean sees an active storm track with mountain snow. December consolidates the winter pattern, setting the stage for midwinter. Prepare for a month of evolving winter dynamics. January 2026 is the heart of winter, with La Nina and QBO signals aligning. A weakened polar vortex could bring intense cold to Europe. Northern and Western Europe face long-lasting cold and snow. Central and Eastern Europe plunge into a deep freeze. Southern Europe sees rare snowfalls and heavy mountain snow. February continues January's themes with potential heavy snowfalls. Ski resorts enjoy prime conditions with deep snowpacks. The forecast hinges on the polar vortex's behavior. Odds favor a cold, snowy midwinter, but uncertainty remains. Prepare for a memorable winter with widespread impact. The 2025 to 2026 winter promises excellent ski conditions. Scandinavian resorts offer reliable snow and cold temperatures. The Alps expect heavy snow from varying air masses. Late January or February is ideal for deep snow and prime conditions. Consider the Pyrenees and Balkans for adventurous skiing. The Scottish Highlands may see sustained snow cover. Prepare for travel disruptions with flexible plans and insurance. Monitor forecasts for short-term details. Embrace winter's excitement and challenges with preparation. Enjoy a season of snowy adventures and memorable experiences.